and said, I don't like it. I start crying. <laughs> it's literally burned my eyes out. No, I don't like it. I'm not going back out. Never. Until world final. Until world final. And then you chuck one in after that. No, literally world final. That oh, you chuck one in for world final. That's the first final. one. I'll, yeah. Say, I think confidence is a massive thing. In yeah, 100%. in stock cars, you feel confident enough. You can yeah. you feel like you can do. You can of, do anything. Yeah. See, so if I was going to do it, I'd only do it on a tarmac car because mm. you're only getting sort of front and back impact, didn't you? So you shout. First time ever, Bromley has followed someone in and not been followed in. Yeah. I think there was three times. I was actually on the giving end, not the receiving end. <laughs> I texted you, did I? I said, you need to stop making these videos. Welcome back to another episode of the Stock Car Podcast. Today, we have the world champion of the 1300 stock cars with us. It's not me. <laughs> Is it ever going to be? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> We've got not. Jacob Bromley. Let's go, champ. Jacob, how are we? Yeah, I'm very good. Thank you. You? Yeah, not bad. Good what? day today? Yeah, it was all right. Stayed in bed most of the day. Oh, nice. Got me out of bed. Did we? <laughs> Did we wake you up? <coughs> <laughs> Three o'clock. <laughs> oh, mate. Right, how's 1300s treating you so yeah, far? Well, at the moment, it can't be that bad. Got the old gold roof on it at the moment. Very nice. Two cars here. We've got a shale car, that one. And the tarmac car here. The tarmac yep. car hasn't got a front bumper on it at the minute. No. And it's a bit wrecked, but... Yeah, that's um, supposedly ready for the MWA. That car's going to be in the MWA show. <coughs> Ricky? Yeah, where is he? He's disappeared. I think Ricky needs to pull his finger yeah, out. Yeah, he then, does. He? he does. <laughs> I've done most of it. Yeah? What, yeah. Turn it off? Yeah. He just told me you haven't. Oh, I've just done a good job on that. Got <laughs> <laughs> all the wiring out of it. When I made a cup of tea. That's <laughs> we'll get on to Ricky later on. Ricky is Jacob's old man, and he runs around the whole country with you and Ireland. On the right hand. Running them up and down there. Yeah. How was 1300s in, other than you've got the gold roof now? Yeah, gold roof, obviously. Can't complain. I think, bloody hell, how many people have years been racing? And to win it within six, seven years of doing Is that how long you've been such. in them? I think it's been six, seven years. I'm trying to think when I started. First year I'd done it was when the world final was at Northampton. First really? time it was shale. Oh, that one. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah, yeah, that one. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a very con controversial for yeah, us. Don't say no more. Ended in, <laughs> <laughs> ended in a couple of holidays, but <laughs> it is what it is. Yeah. So no, we're that's six. That is about six, seven years. Yeah, it's it's seven be, yeah. years. Yeah, where sorry. did you start that world final? Pardon? Where did you start that world final? I won last chance. <laughs> oh, lovely. Last chance, start at the back. I think we finished sixth. Did you? Yeah, I managed to come through and finish sixth. Yellow top. No. Nice. That was in <laughs> that one. Oh, the, the same, same car. One, the one that won the world final. Oh, right. Six, seven years later. Yeah. That's Still nice, going strong, it? mate. That's nice, yeah. mate. Who built that car? Dick. Did he? Yeah. Fair play. Yeah, we did. And that, that you both obviously yeah, you yeah. You built that one as yeah, well. Yeah, to be fair, we wouldn't be able to afford to do it if I didn't have him. I wouldn't be able to afford to pay, pay yeah. someone to, to do it. Well, you're looking at what are you looking at rolling shell now? Four, five grand. Four, five grand rolling shell. Easy. Remember when, metal now, nowadays. When we first started, they were, you were looking at three grand. Three grand. Mm. Three grand shell. for rolling shell. But obviously, the price of steel's gone up. The price of everything's gone yeah. up. So, and me and Dad have built a few ourselves, and the amount of time you put into it is even five grand enough. Yeah. Well, that's it. People don't see from the outside how much actually goes into doing them. And and not just the labour of doing it, it's the thinking. If you don't get some of them bars right, yeah, there's there's all sorts of stuff that could be wrong with it. No, we should probably you've got to make it easy so you can get the engine out easy. Yeah. Mm. Gearbox clusters it out and everything. easy. It's you've got to be able to fix it still, which is why I'm quite shocked you don't have a bolt on roof yet. Is that something that's coming or? We have thought about it on doing it on that one. Mm. But. So much better. Trouble is. They bend, don't they? They mm. do. So we weld ours solid all the way around. Door mm. skins all the way along. Right. We weld them solid mm. just to make sure they don't start They are. De I'll definitely say, obviously, we've got all bolt and roofs on all of ours apart from the Spitfire. And we do have trouble with the tops. Moving. The tops mm. going over. After that meeting at Lynn that we just done. Yeah, yeah. With the Corsair, the whole roof is like that now. See, if I was going to do it, I'd only do it on a tarmac car. Because mm. you're only getting sort of front and back impact, yeah. didn't you? So you shout, yeah. you're getting dived up the inside, slapped yeah. up the wall. You always, well, you go around Kings Lynn, you're always slapping you've, that wall. You've got someone around you all the time. Mildenhall, that's the worst place for it. Oh, yeah. You, you, you ain't got breathing space at all, have you? No. You're no. constantly around someone. Slamming up the wall, yeah. slamming it on into someone inside, yeah. which is obviously the difference between tarmac. Tarmac's always normally Punt, front, punting punt and, and go. go. 
where shale dive up the inside especially that last king's lane it was just everyone was going wide just yeah bah, up the inside. dive up the inside up the driver's door <laughs> you have to you it yeah you have to that's, that's the it. only way to get around there have that's you always the done um putting under as well what else have you done so we start i come <coughs> out of minis i'll oh, start yeah. start with the minis go on yeah, minis. did you start at 11. no i started when i was 13. same got funny stories to tell same. About that. Oh, go on. i'm waiting for this one <laughs> 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 go on. Was, we started when was it <coughs> No, I was misbehaving at school, and then my old man said, "Right, I'm gonna get you a mini this year." So we got a mini. What did he? Do? What did he do? Any racing? Before? Yeah, he done bangers down at Dover, <laughs> Coombe Valley. <laughs> <laughs> well, he was actually. <laughs> I, I didn't know anything about it until on the way up here. Because he, he asked me about obviously what racing you've done, and I said about you raced at Mildenhall yeah, yeah. and um, and Dover, and he was like, "Dover." I was like, "I've never heard of it." Google. Yeah. Dover. Yeah, to Google Dover. It doesn't look that bad. To be fair, if it weren't for there, I wouldn't be racing today. Really? Yeah. yeah. How far is that from here then? 20 minutes. Is it long, long straights and just like a it is tight literally, corner? It's, probably lo it's longer than Ipswich straights. Yeah. Easy. What? And the bends are tighter than Yama. <laughs> <laughs> On shale. And it's mud. It looks weird. It's not it's, shale, is it? It's no, it's mud and then the bends are concrete. <laughs> oh, so doing a bit yeah, of, a bit of rally crossing. Yeah, mate. All oh, right, yes. You take it as what it so is. So they've done minis down there? Yeah, minis yeah. down there. So obviously I started, obviously dad raced down there, doing bangers throughout his like career. Mm. Um, he stopped because he got busted. He got wedged up the armco while getting out of the car. Bolt no. straight through his shin a lot. Yeah, yeah, back so. when you could get out of cars. Now, yeah, now yeah, obviously, obviously you can't. Now. And that's Was you about when you could get out of cars? No. Nah. Uh, yeah. Obviously, yeah, minis, you would have yeah, been. You would have been a beginner. Yeah, minis. Probably, you watch videos now back, you see someone get out of the car, you think, you're a yeah, crazy man. What are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, no, nah, so obviously, started down there, brought a mini, um, went to Mildenhall first meeting. You registered with RDC then? RDC, yeah. yeah. So. If you don't, mm, just before RDC. Jack's time, obviously. Before Speedworth bought Mildenhall or whatever they'd done with Mildenhall, you had RDC promotions yeah. and they run Mildenhall and Dover. Mildenhall and Dover, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. So, so that was just another promoter. Joint. Like, yeah, like Trackstar Speedworth. Mm. And then yeah. you had Mildenhall. And the minis at Mildenhall were the 300s. Yeah, you had to start with three. Yeah, so that was another promotion. Right. They run minis there as well. So yeah, go on. Yeah, so started there. First meeting. Going all right. I think I was in third. I've never drove a car before in my life. Got up and I just pulled off, pulled off into the centre, come off, and then my old man was waiting. He went, What's up? I went, I don't like it. He went, What no. do you mean you don't like it? I said, I don't like well, it. Well, you didn't even do any practice before then? No, I didn't do no practice, just yeah. literally up the yard, going up and down, Learning getting how to clutch, use the clutch control, and then sent out. So I don't like it. I start crying. <laughs> it's literally burned my eyes out. No, I don't like it. I'm not going back out. You were so. doing that at King's Inn last meeting, as well. <laughs> <laughs> That's behind the camera. But yeah, start crying. Obviously, he had the right hump. He's going, yeah. get the fuck back out of your motor. Get out there. I was like, no, I don't like it. Don't like it. So we took it home. Show, he showed me a couple of videos. I'm like, oh, yeah, I was doing all right, wasn't I? So we went back up there. Going around. Probably in third or fourth again. Pulled off into the centre. No. Said, no, I don't like it. I don't like it. He went, what don't you like about it? I said, I it's dark. Losing. I went, it's dark. <laughs> he went, what do you mean it's dark? He said, it's always dark up here. I said, yeah, it's dark. I don't like it. So then we had a little break and then he said, we go up to Good Friday then. And he said, that's in the day. We go up there. Oh, so it was a night. You're saying it was in the evening, night time. Yeah, yeah, yeah Saturday yeah. evening. Fog lights and that. Yeah. Yeah. So scared of the dark. Wow. That's what we found <laughs> out now, isn't it? <laughs> and lightning. <laughs> well, he did the next world final in the dark <laughs> <laughs> so then we went up for good friday obviously bright daylight gone out there again pulled into the center oh, <laughs> don't like totally. it so he's got the rage in him he's fuming so he's gone what's wrong what <laughs> 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 He's gone, what don't you like about it now? I said, there's too many cars. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ricky, what are you putting up with here? <laughs> <laughs> he, went, what the? he said, what am I meant to do? He said, you can't go out there with two cars. I said, oh, yeah. So then it was like, right, sell it. And then Dover obviously started back up. Went down Dover. I think that was about 10, 12 cars that used to go down there. I think I got white grade award at my first meeting. And that was it. Didn't look back after How far that. after that was that? How long after? Three, four months after, I think. After that happened. Mm. I thought, yeah, I'll have a have a go at that. 
and yeah, got that white grade award and then done the rest of the season just down Dover and then went straight back to Millville and didn't look back after. So your favourite time racing is at Yarmouth for four cars in the daylight? Yeah. Yeah. On a Sunday, <laughs> on a Sunday lunchtime. That's Jacob's yeah. idea of racing. <laughs> he loves it. He comes home with a big smile on his face. <laughs> no, now, I, can't, I hate it with no cars. Mm. No, it's so rubbish. much better with more cars. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. got to be. Definitely. Even if you don't get anywhere, but you're, you're having a good, good race, race, aren't you? You've got some good race. You're racing with the Reds, yeah. you're racing with the Superstars. Sometimes you don't even get anywhere, but you're like, that was a hard race, that was a good yeah. race. and you enjoy it. You come off with a smile. You go out there with seven cars and you win a race. It's like, I can't even really be too happy about it. Yeah, it's not worthy enough, no, is it? You're it's just not, like, it's oh, not worthy oh, enough of a proper win. Did you do yeah. any good in the minis? Yeah. Really yeah. good. Oh, fucking shit. What was your <laughs> yeah, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wouldn't say I was crap. But to be fair, we didn't have the car. So he was there from 13 to 15. So two years, eh? Uh, yeah, two years. Two years. But did yeah, I think we he managed. Didn't, he, didn't, he didn't build that car as well, did he? Nah. Oh. No. Who's, who's Which one was that? We brought that off of That would have probably Foster. been just after my time. Yeah, Tom Foster. Fo- no. 382. Um, I think it was his car, but he passed it on to Mason Foster. Oh, I don't know. Some, but he didn't. They like. were RDC drivers anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we went all the way up to I think it was Workshop to pick that up. Went up there. That's um, that's a good place. I think there's horses on the garden. <laughs> oh right. <laughs> the, um, did you get to Red Top? Ah, huh? did you get to Red Top? Yeah, got to Red Top. Um, who's you racing against? Who's the top boys in? <laughs> this is where I got the conversation. Many days. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> He's from Carton, so he never, he never got into any of this. More posher than you um, got. <laughs> 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 Who do have? Carl Atkins. Yeah. I think he was one of the top boys there. Top um, saloon driver now. Uh, who else do you have? I can not know you asked. Liam Aspin. I don't think he does it, but he was one of the top boys He's at F2s. RDC. He yeah, does he F2s. top boys at RDC. Um, Did you do any Speedworth meetings? No, no, no. We've done a couple. We've done Arena. Went to like St. Day and that. Yeah. Um, I never got to race there. Trying to think to of Cameron Bradford. I think yeah. he was one of the top of Derby. Yeah, they're all saloon, top yeah, saloon they boys now. Yeah, racing then. Um, yeah, you are literally the next generation after uh, my lot then. The yeah. same lot I was yeah. with. Pretty oh. much. When were you then? 23, 24? 23, yeah. Yeah. Went south by the airline though, would you? <laughs> <laughs> <Thought we're laughs> I, can't, I can't say nothing. <laughs> yeah. That's why I grow as much hair now as I can <laughs> to cover it. Just growing out all out the back now, aren't you? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Length for the back there. <laughs> That's it. But yeah, no, they was they was the only ones I can remember. You and Miller, yeah, he was Scottish. He was yeah. up there. He was in did you ever go to Scotland in the mini? Probably not. Yeah, you did. I think we did. Did we do look? Yeah, we done look Gelly in the mini. Jeez. Didn't do Cowden Beef. No. Done look Gelly. Cowden Beef's a bit scary anyway. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if we wanted to go. And there, it would have been at night time. F- yeah, I don't. Yeah, I know. That's why I didn't go. <laughs> <laughs> There was not many cars though, so I was a bit intrigued. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, so yeah, done a lot. So you've done all right then. Yeah, we done we done enough, but the trouble is back then it was just like sort of my old man funding it. Now that I've got like sort of my own funds. Mm. He still funds it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> How much does Ricky do on your cars? How much no, hang on, hang on. How much do you do on your cars? Everything. Everything. Box section, everything. Yeah. Repairs. <laughs> <laughs> No, to, be, says different, mate. <laughs> to be fair, I t- does he let you do it? Are we saying that? No. Ricky, do you not let him touch it? No, I'm okay, you don't trust him? No. no. If I go and touch the welder, he he's just like, paints the wheels get off that. that. I, can't <laughs> even paint, I can't even paint the wheels without him rubbing but, it down a little bit. But the thing is, he can drive it, Rick, so. Right. Ricky's saying it's got to be perfect, so he don't I'm let him touch right it. I'm all right on the welder. I'm all right on the welder. <laughs> It'll fall off, but it'll be on there to start with. Yeah, it'll okay. be on there three <laughs> one. That's it. Yeah, well. Do you want to go on about straight? Let's have a look at the back of that shower car. <laughs> <laughs> why why thirteen hundreds? What happened from the minis in? Did you go straight from the minis into thirteen? No. Or was there a break? So done minis and then we had like a little bit of time in the bangers, done um a couple of micro meetings, just like odd meetings here and there, sixteen hundreds here We're and right there. everywhere. Mildenhall, Dover. Mm. Um, that was it, Mil- really. How far was Mildenhall from there? Two hours, I think, yeah. on a good run. Two hours. But ain't a bad drive, to be fair. But everywhere for us is hour and a half plus. Mm. Closest track for us, all shot. 
easiest to get to. Hour mm. and a half, I think that takes us. And then you've got Eastbourne, but that's all through back roads. Yeah. It's not. You've done an Eastbourne yet? Stock car, have you? Yeah. Lovely track. Where you been? What? Where are you? Where are you? I'm retired. Retired? <laughs> <laughs> Look I'm at done. the tarmac car. <laughs> I'm done. I ain't coming back out now. I'm there done. you are. I'm scared. Oh, well, it's so dark there, isn't it? That's why. Yeah, it is dark there, to be fair. It's double dark there. There ain't many cars, though, so it's all right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so what wide 1300? Um, well, obviously... You've done, you've done bangers, but it's Yeah, mods. done bangers, and it was just... Bangers are just messy. I ain't doing bangers. I've never done one. Jack's never done one. Yeah, there's... He said he's going to build us one. I've had one. Oh, he doesn't Rick, even build Rick, his ones. Rick, yeah. I do. Ricky's going to build this one. I built that. <laughs> <laughs> but no, they're just too messy. I mean, with the amount of spares you need, like if you're doing like... For different cars. Doing like three, mm. four different cars, you need stupid amount of spares. It yeah. just takes up too much space. So I said, obviously, we was good mates with Dan and like Charlie Santry and Steve and that. Done the minis for him. And he built a 1300. And obviously, I thought, yeah, I'll have a go at that and all. And ever since that, I built What, one. in his one? No, we are hired a Morphe car. Yeah. Hired a Morphe car. I remember car. that. It was Northampton, wasn't it? Was it Northampton? No, we hired one at Lynn. I think I won Heat 1. At Lynn? Yeah. What was that? It was it 2017 then? Don't know. Not a clue. So then, when was the world final? 2018? Northampton? I don't know. When was the world final... Northampton, 2016. 2016, I think was it? it was. Yeah. You sure? No. Nah. No, it can't be. Seven. That's seven years ago. It's oh, got to be 2018. Know. I think it's 2018. Yeah. I should know this sort of stuff. But I think I hired one that year. Yeah. Further on, we hired one and we had a problem with the cutout switch. So he said, look, we'll do you another one, just like a discounted price sort of thing. So we'd done the Steve Newman, hired Steve Newman out. Mm -hmm. And then went and done that. I think we won all three, didn't we? One or three. Um, and then obviously come back and start cracking on with the car that Got we had bug. half built. Yeah. So then from then. So is that another case of hiring one and then you was like, you know, I definitely Yeah, we well, hired that neck of one and obviously three wins. So it could give you a big enough buzz to come <laughs> back and literally we was on it straight away, weren't he? Straight to. Yeah, half a season. I think we've done half a season, managed to finish third in the. Track points. star points. We finished, you started halfway through the halfway season? Halfway through the season, done third. And then ever since then, just carried on. So hiring a car out, obviously, see, he's had a go. It helps. Yeah, definitely. Obviously, well, look at Lee, getting yeah, off. Definitely. It, do, it mm. does help. We would like to carry on doing it for people, obviously for people that are never going to have a go, then it's a bit like, you know, yeah, yeah. that's not really why we <clears> was doing it. But... Yeah. And obviously, we helped out the Irish driver. He wanted to come over and never raced yep. shale before. Wanted to come over and race without having the expenses of bringing this whole car no, over. He just flew over. Makes it easier for him. So it? that is another good reason. And obviously, people who are in other formulas that can drive, yep. that might want to, which are probably 20 people have messaged me asking me to try. They want to try it before they yep. do it. But we just ain't got the time. No. We just, we, we've just we done it for, what, five meetings or something? Yeah. And... Trying to do that, especially well final, was a struggle. Coming with two yeah, cars, well final, coming back, absolutely. We fun. didn't start your car right? until you didn't start your car until a couple two, of days before. Two days before, it? which is just terrible. That's prep. what I mean. It's so because like, I needed to get that higher yeah, car yeah, done, that's it. Yeah. and then we had another case at Aldershot where I was hiding it at Aldershot and Lynn, and we were doing it, doing it, and we just ran out of time. There was no way we was going to get free car because I was taking two cars, one for each yeah, day. Yeah. Sharon and Tarmac and the, then the hire car ready for both and was like if one of them smashes up on Saturday yeah. then last minute I'm going to have to cancel it for the Sunday yeah. so yeah it was, it was and then it was getting stressful between me and Dan yeah, as well where we, still we do don't do. really ever stress each other do you still do the hires? not at the minute not doing it not at the minute I've got one that still is owed a hire yeah. so that's going to have to be done but yeah. the rest at the minute is I can't we just it takes it over would, racing it does if if anyone wants to do it and actually make a business out of it, you there could. are so many people I can divert to you. Yeah. But as you say, Sam Owen's going to start doing it, yeah. which is good. With what car? He's building a new one for it? the show and he's yeah, going to hire out one. the old one. So it is good. It worked with Bromler's. It worked with Lee. Mm. It's probably worked with a few others as well. I think somebody who's bought Jack Smith's car actually rented one. And then <laughs> yeah, yeah. so I started before. as well. And Jack. So <clears throat> Wells car. Clark. Like that. <laughs> 
Have you ever sat in a Clark Wells car? No. Oh my no. god. No. That was horrible. Someone someone from down here hired one. <laughs> he said he got in it, he said his head was literally touching the ceiling. Mm. The steering wheel was like that. Right. <laughs> Getting into someone else's car. Yeah, yeah. I was I had my foot holding me up so I could like see over the bonnet. It was horrible. That's a key thing in my name. You've got to be comfortable. You have to be. Have to. Yeah. Otherwise, for one, you're getting hurt. And for two, you can't drive it to no, your, that's it. the best of your ability. Yeah. We've had it. I've done it in uh, the bangers. Like, I've had the seat back probably about that much too far back. I know it's not a lot, but your arms are too much like that. You feel like yeah, yeah, your yeah. legs on the clutch yeah. and the throttle. And so break. I'd rather be over the steering wheel, like hugging it. Yeah. I feel I'm, like more I'm in control. Like and... as well. But it's you have to be comfortable 100%. To be able to be at the top of your game, you have got to be in them cars 100%. Yeah. They've got to be built for you. Yeah. So when I jumped in Mungo's car, that white one, for the first time, and the steering, like that, wheel, the steering wheel was over there, and you're sitting here, and it's almost, that's exaggerating a bit, but you can imagine, it's not bang in front of you. Yeah. And I'm like, what the? F it was so weird. You had to go as well, didn't no, you? No, I sat in oh, it. Oh, you sat in weird. it? So and it got straight back out. <laughs> no, it was, I was wasn't trying it? to keep it now. You, you <laughs> <laughs> I love have it. you driven that? And I was like, that will be changed <laughs> ASAP. Yeah. But then change it back to exactly how we was put the RS2 in, sat where I want. Beautiful. I don't think these seats and all, you can't. Which you seats? You run them with both yours? Yeah, what do you run? These. Same, yeah. These. We've all got can't them. beat them, can you? No, I love them. Yeah. They're good. It's literally like sitting at home. Mm. <laughs> Just need eating now. Yeah, you need the tyres underneath. Sitting there going it. out like that, don't you? You look like you're sitting, oh. you look like you're sitting at home. <laughs> Still, do I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want that? Nah. <laughs> what, other than the world? I oh, know you've won the... Go on, what else have you won other than the world? There's only one I can think of at the minute. English? Yeah. Yeah, won the English. Where was that? I was at Northampton. Was that Tarmac? No. Shell. Oh, you only started after she went to uh, So Morphe was Grigio. chasing you down. That was it, yeah. And the was Civic. it Luke? Mm. Yeah. Ah. The Civic, yeah. That was Gridjo. Draw Paul. See you later. What do you think of the great draws compared to the the um, qualifying? I'd go with qualifying, hundred yeah. percent. I watched like your first. What older shot? What I'm saying the, the difference between the, you know every other than the world, rest of the championships are either graded or they're grid, mm. uh, they're pulled out of a hat. I was just saying, what what do you prefer? Because now I actually said to Gavin at Speedworth, I said yeah. about the English, the one that we won. I said, um, can we do that? qualifying because I've just come back from Ireland yeah, or wherever yeah. it was and well, I've been to Ireland and they're doing it like how we're doing it yeah, yeah. how we've done it last meeting where it's heat one um, is it graded? No they've done when they inca race draw line draw, up and then you, they in race draw, reserve, reverse, reverse it, the grid and then that is the yeah. uh, grid for the final which I think in the ten championship is 10 times better because my point was that after the first race out the hat for one it's complete luck if you had Piercy at the front yeah and then the next red top or superstar yeah. was five, six rows back. You're so you're sort of already You've half got, half lost. I know it's a stock car race, but you it sort is a of, stock car race. Think, and if it goes mental and there's a few wave jellies, yeah, there, maybe. But sometimes it's not. No, there's not. But yeah, no, hundred percent. They should do that for every championship. Mm. Like you say, other than the you were world, saying obviously. earlier. Yeah, world obviously world through the year through your points. Um, but yeah, hundred percent because you're racing constantly. Even if you like you say on the other one, if you're sitting in. 15th and you're racing with someone who's in 16th or 14th mm. you're still racing for the whole way down the grid yeah. yeah so as opposed to you're in the english for the first race and you're sat at 20th yeah. halfway through the race it's like this is pointless no no and i've got no chance if you do the first race and you don't get nowhere it's sort of some people just that's it they yeah. go they don't really no race for nobody's the bothered race whereas for the rest of the it builds up the whole meeting Everyone's building up the crowd are watching, keeping yeah. note of who's yeah. doing what. I think it's reverse it. Fans, isn't it? Oh, it's definitely better for fans. It just engages everyone a bit more, and yeah. everyone's like working out points on yeah. these days. Seeing who's starting where, and then exactly. But I yeah. think for the driver's side and the spectator side, mm. it's definitely all the championships need to be like that. Other than the world, got to earn, got to earn the place. You got to earn to start at the front. Yeah, definitely. It's like that. The when I won the English, I was lucky to build a pole. pole. I managed to just get away and coast away. Keep, yeah. yeah. Which in a stock car race, that's that's a hot rod race, isn't it? At yeah, the end yeah. Of the day. You want a stock car race, you want mm -hmm. all the all the quick ones to then be f at the front for the championship yeah, yeah. for it to go off. Yeah. Ireland is a brilliant example. Yeah. They've done it like that, didn't they? First two races, first two heats are quite tame. Mm. You know, everyone's just fighting for their places. Yeah, yeah. You know, even in 12th, you're still just picking away, picking away at what you can get. Comes the final. It's hell for leather. 
Ace. A little mental. Every yeah. man for himself. Like, yeah, a little mental. Yeah. 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 I remember him coming to work and um, <laughs> well, <laughs> he's like, oh, God, stop. <laughs> I come back to work <laughs> on a Tuesday or whatever else and I was like, my <laughs> neck is in bits. I was, <laughs> but it was such good racing. Yeah, quality weekend. I quality weekend. Are you going back over this year? Yeah. Yeah, we'll I be think, back there. I think I'm gonna go. Back you had a good weekend over there, didn't you? Huh? You had a good oh. weekend over there, didn't you? And for the first time ever on on since we started doing YouTube, the first time ever Bromley has followed someone in and not being followed in. Yeah. <laughs> I think there was three times. I was actually on the giving end, not the receiving end. <laughs> I texted you, did I? I yeah. said you need to stop making these videos. I think every time we get followed in. Because I was I was always in prime spot for him being followed in. And um was it a couple of rear angles where behind me yeah. you just get taken in and then there was one in the front and I was like probably he's going to hate me for this <laughs> <laughs> and then finally it come to um, Ireland and you actually you got yeah, you got yeah. someone on, yeah. on video yeah, so you made rest. it in the trailer the montage as yeah. well <laughs> 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 but no definitely going back to that all, all championships except something um, just worth fighting for needs to be yeah. definitely points 100%. just to make that spectacle 100%. at the end Fastest ones at the front. Yeah. And they all go for each other. Yeah, 100%. The crowd wants to see it. The drivers want mm. to be racing. Definitely. You know, I don't think Piercy would want to win it just by no, pulling away. No, I don't away, think... Well, you know. same as us. I don't think anyone would want to... You'd rather... All right, win's a win, but yeah, you, of course. you still want to... You want to fight for it. Fight mm. for it. And yeah. Because otherwise you have people go... Oh, what's what's your um, best weekend's racing apart from... Obviously, the world's obviously up there, isn't it? But... Wait, didn't he? he only got one race? Ireland. <laughs> oh. Got one race. Yeah, Is there anything I know. else? Do you know what? That was a weird night. That was a proper weird night. Go on, and we'll talk, we'll talk about the world. I did not. Literally, obviously, we had the sign in to start off with, so I didn't hardly mm. see anyone. Obviously, see people come round. Didn't hardly see me, old man. Um, and obviously, take cars back, go to world final. Obviously, won it, thankfully. Um, what about the race? Go on, talk us through the race. The race. Joe, what? Because you were I've... sitting in. I started 10th row inside. Oh, uh, yeah, this is the first year that you actually weren't at the front, on was the it? the front, yeah. That's what I was mm. saying. You had a, you you didn't, you didn't start till later on in the year, did the you? The trouble is, I I'm still waiting an operation on my knee, um, playing football, stupidly. Um, <laughs> That's why you don't play football. That's yeah, why you race stop cars. Because no, yeah, you end sense, up getting up it? playing football. Yeah. <laughs> makes sense. So Definitely. I literally um, didn't... I think we started back up in June. June? I, what, yeah. what time, what, when does the season start at Trackstar? March. It was well, June or was it a good a few meetings, isn't it? Yeah, mm. I think we missed about five, six meetings. Was it? Yeah. yeah June 16th. She started, started after half, just after probably that, July then. Just managed to qualify through track star points. And then obviously, yeah, that puts What was that? From, that would have been top 10 or top 12 or something, wouldn't it? Yeah, I think it was top top fourteen. Was it top twelve or top fourteen? I don't yeah. know. Well, you would have had obviously more than we any would of have us. Had more than anyone, because yeah. obviously they was trackstar was hosting. Um, yeah. But yeah, I think I, think I worked out. I was tenth. I finished tenth in the points for the world final. Obviously, we run our points March to year to year. So March till thirty fifth. Whereas December. we run it world final to world final. Yeah, which, which is, I think should be done like that. Well, you think you should be running how we run it? Yeah, hundred percent. I think See, but we be. don't get an off season. Whereas you will stop. I put, which is quite surprised you lot got me in December. Obviously, the end of December. Yeah. Is that still for points then? Yeah. That's so the you're last going right through to December. 30th of December. That's our last points meeting. So and I think it gives us till March. First weekend of so March. So you get three months. Well, two. Which yeah, three months. Two, more, two and a half, three more months. More than enough time, I think. Yeah. But obviously, when you've got two cars to do, I know it's, um, it's a bit, bit tight. Yeah. But obviously, I should have started that a long time ago. <laughs> So go on and talk us through that race. Yeah, obviously. To be fair, I didn't think, obviously, until I got up to the front, it was a bit rough. But getting through up thing, I, I thought I had a pretty tame, tameish race. Mm. Obviously, until, when was it? Jack on ever end. Well, we have to go on. Me. Go on. Yeah, how do you get <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, I, was, I, did, I thought I was, had a very tame race. There weren't much to be, well, apart from getting run in after the flag. Bo? Ah, uh, Waterfield. Oh, did he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. I would have done the same, to be fair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you'd have hit me on last bend, I'd have been, I'd be I'd have been sulking. Yeah. Because <laughs> that, that was, to be fair, that was Carl Waterfield's to lose there. Yeah. And why did he, why did he go in so wide? 
well, that's what I thought. I come in, obviously, last bend, and I thought, does, does, he, know I'm, does he know I'm behind him? Does he run a mirror? You don't run a mirror, do you? I do now. Since? That's the first time I run a mirror. <laughs> We've done the same, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> That's we know another, exactly what you're on about, story, <laughs> That's another story for us as well. <laughs> yeah, I'd never run a mirror. Never. Until well final. Until well final. And then you chuck one in after that? No, literally well final. That oh, you chucked one in for well final? That's the first one I'll run one. Right. Yeah, never run one. Obviously, I was, it was from the minis. I started with one in the minis and I used to move out the way of people. And then from that Ricky, day, Ricky I was, shouting, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like, get rid, get rid of that mirror. <laughs> yeah. So Found he's M3, literally like, got a grinder and lobbed it out. So then I ain't run one since. Don't run one in the banger. Don't. Uh, but then well, final, he said to me after the well, final order shot, he said, you needed to run a mirror. Mm. He said, you need to run it. You can sort of see, if, like you, you can, were saying with your mirror, you can see if someone's behind you is going to, you know, oh, yeah, he's got about eight in his. Yeah, I do. <laughs> you know, like them old boys in America with a bi- with a big white bike. So like, that's what we said. He was going to run it well final last year, <laughs> uh, this year, wasn't it? Yeah. But yeah, <laughs> but um, no. I, the, regards to the mirror, I'd, as you say, now you were you're going to need one at the minute anyway. <laughs> no, I just need a brake pedal more. Yeah, <laughs> new pair of brake, new set of brake pads in there. Yeah, I've ordered you're a car that. parts. Lucky, Lucky I work brake pads. <laughs> Your eyes are going to skin in brake sure pads. I'm sure we had more brake pads in there. <laughs> yeah, don't play. Yeah, he left... I don't work at your eyes. What are you on about? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's left the door open there. Yeah. Because I come round, obviously I'd pulled off by that point and I, obviously the fireworks gone off. I've looked, I thought, Carl's won it, obviously. Yeah, yeah. The man's on fire that race. He's quick as anything. Yeah, yeah. And then I, t- I think I come off before I even realised, hey, did Carl win that? He goes, no, nah, probably won it. I was like, no. Yeah. How has he done that? And they were like, they nipped him last corner. Yeah. I was like, what? To be fair, I just come down behind him and I thought, oh, I've been in this position too many times. You have. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad you've done it finally. Yeah. Yeah. I said, if this goes wrong again, I'm giving up. I said, I'm giving <laughs> Ricky's up. giving yeah. up. <laughs> so you see, I, there's a video of him standing on the bend. He don't start celebrating until I've gone past the line because mm. he, he knows, obviously. He knows the crowd. Yeah, he knows. What, it was that two years on the trot before that? Well, I had a close one with well, It was Lee. obviously all the shot, yeah. Yeah, and then Where I think you, I had a close sort of second. Was you behind him? Yeah, you was behind Lee for the last bend. Yeah. And you didn't get him, which that top bend is ne- nearly a pit That's impossible. so hard, though. Although yeah. you was like that close, yeah. which that top bend is so hard to get him last oh, corner. Yeah. You always want to try to do it up the other yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Don't, don't tell don't. him that. Some no, people I mean, s- that corner always tried yeah, to do yeah, that yeah, corner. Yeah. Some so. people say I was probably a bit too soft, which well, I think we said that at the time. Yeah, you love Lee, don't you? Oh, you love him, even a couple everyone of colours. Say, everyone says yeah, he's too oh, he We was know. excited, yeah. That's why I'm going all gold car. Yeah. <laughs> we was excited to see the world uh, gold roof with a different colour car because three years on a trot, fair play to him for doing what he's doing, but it's yeah, nice yeah. to see it on it's another colour. Yeah. And you've come out looking like that. Yeah, I know. He said he's going, he's changing it from Piercy. Now he's going all gold. He's yeah. copying Fisher now. Yeah, all gold. I would as well, though. <laughs> that looked the no, boobies. Even yeah. gold wheels. Gold, gold wire. Oh, don't stop. <laughs> Shut up. Oh. You know gold wheels matter. You're not know getting gold wheels. Maybe that's why the side matter. of the tyre is gold. Oh. Gold boots? Yeah. yeah. I've got gold pants. Why, on. bro? <laughs> 64. Oh. No, and then, we are not going all gold. You're not? <clears throat> no. You're not staying you're like not. that, are you? No. You staying well, like that? We're not going all gold, but we, we are changing it. Right. But yeah. Because yeah. I'm going to just cancel that three and that O and put a two in front of it now. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was nice. It was, it was like, oh, we're going to get a different gold roof on the car. Mm. And then yeah, did come no, out with that. Yeah, to be fair, I did spray it and I was like, I need to change it. <laughs> What's, um, <laughs> what, how long did you went 303? Um, obviously, old man was 103. Yeah. And obviously... Milled and all, you had to be free. So oh, right, yeah, I said free. to you, the threes were milled. That and doesn't all. happen no more, does it? No, no. Nah, the threes were milled and all. Ones were speed worth. Right. Five fives was PRI, arena. Wasn't it? Pri, yeah, yeah. arena. Two uh, hundreds were inca race. Back when they had inca race was separate. Two hundreds yeah. weren't six. Six hundreds was six hundreds was Scotland, and then nine hundreds was uh, West Country, wasn't it? That's it. Yeah. Did that just die off, or was that was it in the I rules? Don't know, I don't do know if that was just the. It was in the rules. Yeah, it was in the rules. You have to be. So it's just not in the rules. Basically now, because then you had cars coming up out with zero two nine and stuff. Like yeah, that. I know. Wouldn't that? I swear that was like crimmed. Yeah, Ugh. I don't know. I don't know, but somehow the minis. I, th- I thought that was a brilliant idea. Is that yeah. just minis? Yeah. yeah. Not. Uh, any I don't know. I don't like. know when we'll have to get when we get someone on next who we're getting on soon. Hopefully, oh, he yeah. can tell us back in the day what how that come about. Yeah, yeah. So the fact that obviously they went. 
But I thought it was a good idea. Yeah, yeah. Because you could see where everyone was from. Everyone was from. You could pick out what promotion everyone was from. Yeah, mm. which is a good idea. But, I mean, they don't have it here. No. But that, that moves me on to, obviously, 1300s. Do you like it how the way it is at the minute where we have Speedworth, Trackstar, HRP, and then Ireland? And the fact that we all race for our own points. And then instead of having a national like saloons, I'd love to have it national. Would you? Love to. What do you think? I think. What? Have it national. I think it's saloon, sorry. No, the 1300s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, we all race in our own respective promotions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then obviously, they, they make the grids for the world final. It'd be a hundred times better, wouldn't it? hundred percent. Yeah. Because at the minute, right, Loads I know it's, it's, it's annoying for speed rough drivers because our car numbers are low for speed rough. Right? Yeah, yeah. It is what it is. We're racing. There's not, uh, there's loads of speed rough cars out there, yeah, but yeah. they're not all coming out at once. No, no. So no. we're getting 18 cars at Eastbourne, which yeah. is the best stock car track ever. Yeah. But no, no track star drivers are bothering coming down to them. No. Nah. Obviously, a lot of speed rough drivers go to track star. Yeah. You know, we love racing there. Yeah, yeah. It's one of the best shell tracks there is. So. If it went national, it would help our numbers out, obviously. And but then obviously Scotland, pe- Scottish people are then yeah. stuck. But they are in the saloons anyway. No, that's it. The so same. But then at least when you go somewhere, you are racing four points. Four points every meeting you go mm-hmm. to. I, I still think it needs. You no, know but um, Steve O'Dell was doing before. I still think it needs oh, someone a, like a that. Rep. Done it. A rep. Just to what's going on? Why aren't their cars out? Or I yeah, think yeah. Ketchy's sort of doing that. I think if you well, had, a, to be I think that's more rule book side though. <laughs> no, I think be no, I don't it. think it's, it's him. It's, he's not doing that. That's more rule book side. If you have a problem with a rule, yeah. you go to Ketchy, and then he can go fill it through to the right people, yeah. and then maybe a driver's vote or anything. Mm. But I mean, for car numbers everywhere, I mean, some people obviously won't agree with this because they just want to race yeah, their yeah. own tracks. But if they're just racing their own tracks, they're not fighting for the points anyway. No, so no, why no, does yeah. it matter? Yeah, it don't mm. matter to them as such. It doesn't. Yeah, 100%. But I think. It would help car numbers down in um, speed rough side and it would yeah. help car numbers up in Logelli. Yeah. I mean, a couple of years ago, they was getting 30, 40 cars anyway, yeah. but I think they've dropped off a little bit. Trackstar seems to be the only one that's managing to get... Keep their numbers and... So that's half but, the reason I licensed with Trackstar. What, their car numbers? Just, no, for like bookings. So I love racing Shell anyway, but like... You, well, you've been brought up on Shell. Yeah, whereas but like... I'm, well, I'm the opposite. Tarmac, you prefer Tarmac. I, I like Shale when I got it going, but yeah. I don't feel as in control on sh- on Shale. I hate it. He hates it. There's just no point talking to him about it. I hate it. Go kart boy. Yeah, yeah go yeah, kart literally boy. That, yeah. <laughs> I hate it. But um, hate it. Shale's a weird one though. How how do you set your? Oh, this is another thing about the world final. When yeah, you he's went... asking me for setup. No, 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 I'm not asking <laughs> setup. The when the track was wetter, you was faster than Waterfield. Was that right, or was no, it the other way drier. around? Drier. When it was drier. So when they wet it on the wave jella, oh yeah, I was shit myself. You were slower. But don't bring that water bowser out. Leave it dry. Yeah. Leave it dry. Yeah. I'll but bet. then obviously Carl Waterfield was sat up behind it, and they kept telling him to because when I was in second, he was in first. They kept telling him to yeah, back yeah, off, to and back he off. wasn't. Nah. And they didn't do nothing about it. But it is what it is anyway. Yeah. But obviously then, when it was wet, he just pulled away from everyone. As you say, it dried up. Then you clawed him back. Yeah. So that's another thing mm. that I even I don't really understand too much about shell yeah. racing. We set the car up. And it either goes well or it don't. Yeah, sure yeah. is pot, pot luck, isn't it? If they bring the water thing out, then you... And you've gone dry. I, I, I don't know, maybe... I think Or are you, are you set, are you just well, not I asking do run up? a lot higher pressures than what most people would run on shower. Right. That's not what you told me last week. <laughs> I think I told you exactly. Yeah, you did, yeah. <laughs> but That <obviously>, didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still shit. <laughs> so obviously, are, people, are, you, are you setting your car up for whether it's going to be wet or dry? I always set mine up for the dry. Yeah. If it's well, if it's obviously way. a dry meeting at Kings, then it always dries out towards the end of the race. Do they on a normal meeting? Do they because obviously we don't race all the time. On a normal meeting, do they? Um, if there is a yellow flag halfway through the race, yeah. do they wet the track? Yeah, they every do, time they still do wet the track. They do every time they we go do and they don't. They, I think they wet the track because it's a championship. I don't know. They do and they don't. Sometimes they do. Sometimes they don't. Right. It's I think it's just how they feel on the day. But yeah. If it's too dry. Yeah. Or... Usually, if it's a yellow flag and it's bone dry, I think it's if it's kicking up dust yeah, for the fans. The dust suppression more oh, than right. so then they like... give it a wet. But then um, obviously you you're going to suffer then because yeah. If you're always better on the dry stuff. Yeah. I mean. Hundred <laughs> percent. That's what I want to do. Obviously, 
I want to do more shale meetings next year, yeah. definitely, because I do want to. I want to crack it. Yeah, yeah. You know, I want to be able to go right. It's a bit wetter today, or if they wet, I'm going to be good at this part of the race. So that's we're still we're still learning now. We can't Everyone's we can't get it right. Like in the wet. I done. I went out in the first race. Oh mate, yeah, absolutely pissed it. Like, yeah. Not fucking been flat, but no, you was gone. Mate. I was gone, and then. I didn't change anything. Told him pressures. Oh, I put it in mind. Yeah, went out the next race and it was shit. Couldn't couldn't get round at all. That's what I mean. I saw, I was like, how's that work? How's that work? It's like, hard, it's hard. It's shale it. is so hard, but then you've got many people like you and others are like, nah, shale's the bollocks. It's brilliant. Yeah. Well, I was, I'd say the same, but I used to say the same about tarmac. Really? I used to hate it. Never, never had it right. I think mm. the amount of times we've had that tarmac car changing like the leg caster and camber. We've probably had it out 10 or 12 times, changing mm. it. And then thankfully, I think it was the meeting before World Final, we went there for, I don't know if he was there, practice day before. Where? No. All the shots. No, we didn't go I there. I think we went there on Friday or the Thursday. We went That's there we went to wrong. try it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, went you would there. have won that otherwise. Yeah, I would have. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> went there. I didn't work last time, did it? No. Was <laughs> <laughs> it have wheel fall off? Aye. Was it have wheel fall off? Was that yeah, last yeah. Time? Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go on. No, yeah, so we went there, tried it, and it was spot on. And we ain't changed it since. I have not changed it since. Mm. So, um, but yeah, I would, I would have said the same about tarmac. But now, and tyre buffing, that's... Oh, moving on to tyre buffing. Mm. Who does tyres? <laughs> he won't tell us. No, he? he won't tell us. It's on the car. Ricky. He wishes he, was, he wishes he was that good. He's tried. He's brought a compressor and everything. He's tried. <laughs> uh, we we made a home homie. If you ever see the blue thing in our videos, it's now in the skip. It's in the scrap. There was a blue thing like it was a tire balancing machine. Yeah. yeah. Um, and we tried doing it ourselves. And I think the thing we found was the motor weren't quick enough. We needed to get a quicker yeah, motor. Yeah. So we ended up biting the bullet and buying yeah. a proper one. But we're still working out with tyres. We're still obviously learning about the tyre buffing. People have been there way before us and they've yeah, mastered yeah. it and yeah, whatnot. Yeah, 100%, yeah. But we, we're still learning whether to camber them, whether to flat them, how much to take off for each track. We're getting there. We're getting there. But now, but we, it was only up until recently that we was not, we was started running them. Yeah. Like very recently, isn't it? Yeah. Well, Everyone was on the bandwagon a year or two ago. Yeah. We're, well, we never run them. I literally had just a cement mixer and you should just take... Just yeah. cleaning them. Yeah, just clean them up. Yeah. Just take the lip off and that was it. But um, yeah, ever since I've started using them, I don't think I'll go I back. think once you use them once and then you get a win or you do all right in them, you think, oh, I just got to be tired. Yeah, you sort of rely but on... Where come from anyway? What a buffing. buffing. I don't know. When I, first, when I first started, no one was doing nah. it. Beaumont would tell me as well, when I spoke to Beaumont, and obviously he was world champion and whatever, he won everything. He was like, we never used to buff them. We yeah. never used to touch them. Like you'd run them, you had either trade, medium trade or, yeah, or, yeah. So, or no trade. But now obviously s someone started doing it and then everyone's now gone to it. And it annoys me as well because now I've, I can see whites and yellows yeah. that are running buff tires and they're getting nowhere. And it's they're like, they're going to moan about spending all the money on the buff tires, but you need your car set up first before you even yeah. put buff tires on them. 100%, 100%. If your car's not right, no matter if you put buff tires on them or not, they're not going to go. Still it's still gonna go not going to turn. And if yeah. your driving ain't up to it either, whether you put buffs on them, they're not going to turn. So it's annoying for me to see whites and yellows spending the money, yeah. which is 10 to 15, 5 to yeah. 15 pound a tire, and you, they're not getting anywhere. Mm. I, I'm not going to name any, but I know a few Speedworth drivers that are, that are running around at the back with buffs on them. Like, it's not... It's not the buffs, mate. It's not the tires. You need to get the driving sorted or yeah, you need yeah. to get the setup yeah. sorted. Well, yeah, a lot of it's heat cycle. No, I'm not, no. <laughs> a lot of it's heat cycle. Yeah. Putting a good heat cycle through. Yeah. I've been out on bus before with like no heat cycles. They're fucking... They're awful. Dog terrible. When we used a, a brand new buff at Ipswich, it took half the race and then... It went you like can that. start feeling it come on, yeah. can't you? It just went like that and I'll turn in, put the throttle down and it was pulling. And yeah. I was like... Oh, you can feel the buff coming along. Yeah. The tyre working and getting hot and working. 100%. Yeah. Heat cycle is a massive thing through them. We always... No matter what, now we're always put heat cycle for it. I love, I love a wet meeting just to get that, um, just to get the edge off your tires to I then run them on tarmac. Run them on tarmac. tarmac. You don't like wet on tarmac? No, I'm not wet tarmac. We're the opposite, we? <clears throat> we don't mind. You a love bit wet, wet tarmac. We don't mind a bit of wet tarmac. Nah, don't oh, mind yeah. a wet older shocks. That's Griffin. The Adams are beautiful, <laughs> and they love it. You ever thought about an Adam? No. Why? 
Ricky, you ever thought about an Adam? Because he's telling me no. Why? You haven't. Why not? Why? Right, pack up. Yeah, let's <laughs> go. go. go on, Podcast no. is over. <laughs> <laughs> They're not. They're not. What, what makes them look like a nightmare to work on? It's probably They're perfect. Size, There's shit. nothing there. That's the best thing. There's nothing there. Let's for it to bend. No, no, let him crack on. With his yeah, no, yeah, no, Adam's rubbish. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, anyway, <laughs> shit. carry on, Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> right, moving on to car prep because this is something that Jack don't know anything about. Yeah, teach me. <laughs> I think you're speaking to the wrong person. <laughs> 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 no, we'll just get Ricky in for yeah. this bit. Yeah. But um, obviously, car prep's massive, and we try to do as much as we can yeah. with the time we have. Obviously, nobody has unlimited time. We all go to work. But what sort of, what does it look like for you in between meetings? What does King's Lim race every two weeks? Are you every two weeks? Yeah, three? I think every two, 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 three max. Hmm. But you still chuck a Speedworth meeting in? Yeah. Or something like that anyway? In between, in between. Yeah. Well, to be fair, they do points meetings. Every now and then anyway, don't they? us at Speedworth. They chuck on points hmm. meetings. So like, I think there's an odd Yarmouth. There's no Eastbourne for points meeting for Which us. Which is stupid. I think you lot need yeah. to get down Eastbourne. Oh, yeah. A load of So do I. It's good. No, to be fair, I, <laughs> he I will. Have, he would have shit himself the other night on the little lights. Oh, no, the old, dog, <laughs> the old power cut come. I've been on the trailer going home, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Ricky! I ain't going out there. <laughs> no, we are, I did say to him, obviously, as we won the gold, I said, once that car's done, we will be doing it. Nice to show mm. it. Nice every, to show it off. Every meeting we can. Obviously, you can't do everything. How many Eastbourne's you done? One. Oh, did you not that? like it? Did you like it? Uh, when was it? It's when I was at Red Roof. When I first started in the shower car. When I was I found Red it, Roof. all right. Listen to it. I know. When I was at Red Roof. Back when I was with the peasants. That sounds bad. <laughs> that sounds <laughs> bad, <laughs> doesn't it? <laughs> no, that's, it's good that you can say that, though, isn't it? No, nah, but... When like, I was with them peasants, Red <laughs> you know, Back in ye old. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, back then. Um, oh, yeah, one meeting. I've, to be honest, I hated it. Did mm. you? <clears throat> was it wet or dry? Wet. Oh, there you go. Oh, it was wet, but back then I, I didn't... I think it's better in the wet. I'd, I'd, to be fair with you, I'd, I didn't have... I weren't... What you are now. Confident. Yeah. Uh, so I think confidence is a massive thing in this. Yeah, 100%. In stock cars. You feel confident enough. You can yeah. you feel like you can do... You can of, do anything. Yeah. I say, I, think, I, I say that to Dad. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, if the car's beneath me, yeah, I will drive the absolute pants off that car Yeah, yeah. to the maximum it will go. Anyone in the way, it does not matter. But when that car's not beneath you and you're not 100% confident in it, you can't yeah, really 100%. do that. Yeah. You can't, which is, I don't know, as you say, if you even if you know your, mm. your metal's not 100% up to it, you have yeah. a big one and then you've just repaired it. Yeah. So like, you know if I go in hard here, yeah. well, I need to go in hard, such. but yeah. I know if I, if yeah. I do, the car's not going to last. Yeah, 100%, 100%. Mm. But yeah, we went down there. It was all right. I just think, I think every corner I ripped off, I think I ripped off a corner, every corner. Just one of them Repaired ones. it, went straight back out, that was ripped off within the first lap. And then your but confidence is gone then, even more. Yeah, it is, but to be fair, it is what it is down there. It's my favourite track, our favourite track, isn't it? I will so be back good. down there. I will, you, once, you once that tarmac car's done. Well, that, that's not going to be the next meeting then, is it? Definitely, that's on the 7th, you ain't going to... We are at East, we are at... you got that going in the MWA, anyway. MWA, yeah, so obviously, when's the MWA? Third uh, and fourth of Feb. Fuck. Don't worry, I've got a car to finish for it as well. <laughs> yeah, so um, obviously straight after that, wherever the first time I'm meeting is, I imagine we'll be doing it. Straight out there. Straight out there. Definitely. I'll probably do an odd Yarmouth here and now. I won't go too far. And, mm. uh, yeah, but I want to try and get up to Scotland. Try and do as many as I can up there. Get Scotland bit. is... Uh, it wasn't for a long time, but I think after the last two times I've been mm. there, Scott Logelli is... It's up there in the top three for me. Hundred percent. It's hard. Track, I love that, that track. It is a hard track. It's fast. Hard to get your track, though. I it's love it. So that, fast. I think going on to be like best weekend. I think that's probably one of the yeah best weekends. It's up there. Hundred percent. I'm mixed. Like, well, about final it, huh? weekend. When was it? Two years last ago, year, the year it? before. Was it last that year? That world final. No, the before. world final. Don't talk about world finals. Yeah, we don't talk about world finals. We don't finish them. <laughs> but um, we're good at them. Me. Yeah, good at but the um, Logelli weekenders, you can't go wrong with them. Everyone up there is sound. Everyone's yeah. all the Scottish. Yeah, so that's a good thing about going up there. Yep. You can't but beat it. You say that everyone's friendly, but there's still some good hits and some good mm. battles up there, no matter what. There's always somebody going in. There's always a park car yeah. up there. There's always a moving chicane there, yeah. no matter what, because 100%. as well, the car numbers up there on the weekenders are brilliant. Yeah. 
that's what's good in these, and all everyone can sort of have Ding rough dong. race, yeah. have a crash and that. And Unless you're in Ireland. What's your worst crash that did you've you had? Did you? <laughs> I got <laughs> busted in Scotland once. Is that what you're going to say? No. no I was going to say something else. Go on. Go on. I was no, about. I'd say probably my worst crash was in Scotland. We went up there. I first started again in, I think it was yellow or blue. Fair, play, no fair play to you for that. Just went up there. I think it was just us on our own. Just I don't know why we went up there. It was just, he had a brainwave and went up. Oh, no, let's, let's, let's go Scotland. And I was like, yeah, all right, sweet. You're driving. I was in the Pack seat. your bags, go to Scotland. <laughs> so we went up there. I think done the first race. Then second race, I think, I don't know who it was. But some, some, I think it was white or yellow top. Picked me up and ran me in in the doors coming out the bend. Yeah. It was wet meeting, but that knocked me out. Yeah. Really? So now I've come down the straight, flat out, still on the pedal. Oh, um, head in the steering wheel, hit the wall, flat out. Fuck. Give me a black eye and everything. Ricky's like, what are you doing? Yeah, he was. They was going, they was going, oh, if he don't get out, we're going to have to cut the car off. So he's at the fence going, get out the car, otherwise they're going to cut the roof off. Like, yeah. <laughs> what happened for me? <laughs> no, <laughs> oh my God. So I've like woke up and I'm like, oh, get out. But yeah, that busted me. I really still get back pains right now. Mm. That's proper busting me. Black eye, everything. I don't know what's, how I got What's black. your worst one? Pit gate, uh, Ipswich. Yeah. Which is not dead. Pit gate, Ipswich. Going down straight up the inside of someone. Slowly got turned left. You know, the slow ones where you're going out and you think, I've yeah, got this, I've got yeah, this. Got this then all of a sudden. And then all of a sudden that pit gate come. If you watch down the end of the, str down the straight of Ipswich, it just comes curves out, in. Curves yeah. back out. Yeah. And I'm turning in front of someone like that and I've hit the bit that sticks out and it's gone. Oh, flat. This was in an old ultra seats, ultra shield seat. Oh, what one of them? It wasn't a full wrap round one. It was a, I've still got it today. It's in the Spitfire now. That one. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> How do you fit in I don't know. <laughs> that was years ago as well. This is in the first couple You're of years. You're a belly of on you now. Right. <laughs> first, for, first two years in 1300, yeah, I got flipped left and then I hit it like that and I've never felt rib pain like it. I, yeah. I, I don't think I've broken, but I badly bruised, bruised it. Wear a rib protector. I didn't at the time after that meeting. I I bought a rib protector. Yeah, I bought one straight off that meeting. So straight off that meeting in Scotland. Yeah. I brought a rib protector. You do it, one now. It, it Best thing to. I've ever brought. You don't wear one in these, do you? Yeah. Oh, do you? See, I, I once I got one of these, I, I stopped I wearing. Still it. wear it. Still no, wear it. I, I, I think it's the best thing I've ever brought. Mm -hmm. I don't think you can put price on safety, can you? No, you can't. But I, but these because I'm quite small anyway. These yeah. these like, they, they hold they, you they, in anyway. Yeah, they're not even thing. So yeah, my worst one definitely thing like that and I turned and I was so wounded and hurt and I was in the seat like that facing the pack I think I was the red I was a red top and I just made it to the blues yeah, yeah. and one of them done me and then I had I just see the pack of reds coming down the straight and I was like oh shit please do not hit me now I am wounded and they just went whoosh, 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 right beside Thank of me I was in the middle that. of the straight that's horrible isn't it? I was in the middle of the straight and I'm just especially remember like when that. you can see it coming you're like <laughs> I just that is the, the worst because you know if somebody hits you that's gonna work yeah so um yeah, I just managed. I was like that, trying to put it first. I couldn't even move. I was all over the gaff, and uh, and then I see the reds come out because obviously I didn't put my thumb up, yeah. but I was wounded. And the reds, the reds come out, and I was like, "Oh my god!" Yeah, I bet it busted you. <laughs> trying to get your breath back, but that was mine. Are you going to tell me was it the shin? Oh, go on. That was horrible. <laughs> you know them bars. People build cars with them. Uh, we call them leg breakers. Yeah. Me and dad call them leg breakers. I've seen them. Them. You've you, you probably got them in there now. <laughs> you ain't got leg bars. breakers, have you? I don't know. I don't think... They, run, above the the they run them above the pedals. No, nah, no, nah, I ain't it got was, that. I think it's doubled up as well. And I got picked what up on the shot. What uh, one was that? I don't know. The red the one? The red one, yeah. Oh. I got um it, car was car better problems going down the straight. I got picked up by a pack and just got I just hit the all the shot will square on. And that uh, wall does not move either. Uh, no, that's not I hit it. No. That's concrete plate. That's concrete horrible. Plate. I hate it. I hit that square on. Um I broke two toes, but I didn't even feel that at the time. My shins, I hit my shins on that bar and I I felt like I wanted to pass out. It was horrible. I hate it. I've got out on my sh both my shins. I still got a lump of my shin now from it. I just oh, felt sick, my. wanted to faint, I went yeah, white. Like it was horrible. And uh and then afterwards I went back home and I was like, Oh my toes are hurting. I broke two of my little toes. And I was like, Oh <laughs> But so, the shins at the time, they, that was horrible. Yeah, it was like getting a hammer and going bang into your shins. Get yourself some knee pads. Yeah. I was trying to driver. copy Paul Howard at the time. I had some Reeboks on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Reebok trainers as well. White Reebok, Reebok yeah. classics. I thought I looked up to Paul at the time. 
<laughs> so I'm going to wear Reeboks like him. Oh, he's mate. the one that followed me in, actually. Yeah, probably. <laughs> he was. He's probably had some crashes. Cheers, Paul. Yeah, he's as well, been, he's he's he remember that. Years, he's been he? about for years in the 1300s. So there's a few of them. Mm. Let's just say, but how long How long did it take you to win that English? English. When did I win? Four, five years, I think. Five years. So you, there's, you, you can either get lucky. or not. It's not luck. But like, yeah, I think it's do need a lot of luck. You do you need do. a lot of luck. In the, when one off races, obviously, yeah, yeah. stock cars is all, all about luck. But yeah. Obviously, it took you four or five years to win that English. Um, Fisher did win the world. Did he win the world and points in the first year? I don't know. I, don't, I like didn't that, really follow him back then. I don't I know. Think if... It was either the first. I think it was the first. But, year, yeah. yeah. But other than him, I haven't really heard any stock car stories. There will be loads, obviously, and hopefully we can get people yeah. on a podcast yeah. to tell them. But it does take years, doesn't it? It takes years to, to get your skill. Even Piercy, if you look at Piercy, he's... Hey, how many years has he been doing it? He's been doing it years, but he's... Last five years, he's smashed, smashed it, it dominated alive. it. Come alive. But it does take... It takes time, doesn't it? Everything takes time. Your driving skill needs to needs yeah. to get there. You're always learning in stock cars, aren't you? It's like, it's like a game of chess, isn't it? It's it's, just... You find that. It's a yeah. game of chess in stock cars. Yeah. Well, as, you, as you are in the game of chess right now, you're, you've got one meeting left. Um, for your points yep. title, your silver roof at the minute. Are you yep. silver at the minute? Yeah, at the moment. Yeah. Silver at the minute. You've got one meeting left for your points. And obviously, you've got Wartfield behind you. No, In are you front. behind him? I'm behind. I'm 15 points behind. Did you not get any points at that meeting? Last meeting? I gained one. You got one? Game one. Was that point. 10D points? Uh, that was attendance points. Rising <laughs> <wall> points. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going into the last meeting of the year. Yeah. December the 30th. Yeah. And you're 15 points behind him. Yeah. How many points can you get at that meeting, Max? Oh, I think a heat wins 12 or 10 at Lynn. Right. And then the final, is that 25? Yes. That's different to ours, isn't it? We got, I think, eight, eight and then 16. Yeah, yeah, final. eight and 16. Yeah, I think ours so, is 10. And So when you come to, to Speedworth, do you only get our eight points and 16 for a final or do they do it in your points? They must do it on your points. They've got to because otherwise it ain't going to mm. be... It won't work out, would it? It won't be fair as such, will it, on... Obviously, I, I know using on our points, but still, it's not. And what's it's what, be. what's all that about as well? How, how are Speedworth drivers third, fourth, and fifth in your points as well? That's mental, isn't it? I, I'd, I think they do that just for obviously to see. I know, but that that makes that's massive for trackstar drivers to show. So obviously, that you lot give points to tro points means to Speedworth. Yeah, but then obviously we're up there in the track star points in yeah, third, yeah. fourth and fifth whatever yeah. it is. I think that's mental for track star drivers that haven't aren't yeah, above 100%. us really. I think they just show it for data. I don't think I think Luke Smith's going to be going for them points but uh, not Luke, uh, Jack Smith's going to be going yeah. for them points. Yeah, I don't I think they just show he it for the data. He said to me at last meeting, he said I'm winning them points. <laughs> I was mm. like, you know you don't actually win it and he was like, yeah, I know, but it's still good to save you done it as such. Exactly. It? But yeah, no. Oh, so there's three of us going for it now. Yeah. But nice. I think two of you are going to be... Well, so what was the game plan last meeting? This is going to be out way after that meeting, by the way. So what was the game plan going into that? What, the last meeting? <sighs> I don't know, to be fair. I said after the second race, I said I'd, I'd make myself look like a twat. It's hard though, isn't it? Yeah. What do you do? So you I literally... You was, what was you, 17 points or 16 points behind 16, him? 16, I was 16. Going into that meeting with two and, meetings to go. What yeah. do you do? In a stock car, what do you do? Yeah, to be fair, it's I done it to him on the last meeting. I think he was behind me on the last meeting last year, and I think he won heat one, then got a eighth in heat two, which put him like three points behind me for what, going, for going into, into the final the race. race. So I was literally like, I've just I know I'm not going to catch him in the wet. I've literally just got to stop and slow him down. Well, how many? Would you get places up to ten? Top 10. So as top long as 10. you don't finish in the top 10. As long as you don't finish in the top well, 10. He's top I'm uh, open to money in my hand if you want. If you want a hand out. <laughs> you give me whatever you want, I'll give you a hand. Off the camera. We're talking. You know. yeah. talk. yeah. Afterwards, talking. give me some money. I'll help hey, you out, boys. you turn up on that meeting now, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to turn up now. You will. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just, yeah. What's so. he doing here? <laughs> no, there's, um, it's, it's hard. For being the one chasing... It's obviously a lot harder because it's you'd always want to be in front when you're going into the last. Yeah, minute. of course, because then you can play it by it. Yeah, and it's all on you. I don't know. 
I feel more nervous if I was in front. Yeah, because you have got it to lose, yeah. but it's in your part. I think I'd, I'd yeah, like he's coming. He's coming over to you. But then all he's got to do is make sure I don't... Don't finish. It don't matter if he don't score a point. It doesn't. So it's, I've got to score points. So mm. actually try and... So the, ideally, you want to go out there. This is obviously in a perfect world. Yeah. Go out there, follow him in, break his car for the rest of the meeting yeah. and go out and win. Yeah. Easier said than done, especially somewhere like King's Limb. Trouble is when it's wet and all, you don't get enough speed to try and... Nope. No chance. <laughs> You've got it, <laughs> mate. Yeah. And, you, and it's the 30th of December. You oh, do know that. Yeah. It's the 30th of December. It's, so it's probably the perfect conditions for him. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, don't. Oh, you can't be too greedy. Look what you got. I oh, know, mate. Yeah, I oh, know. You did get the... It's, it was a, well, you've got the gold and silver anyway. Yeah. So you've had it. So, you can say you've had it. Yeah. It, it doesn't matter it. if, Brom, if um, Waterfield gets you or not. But it, it to take the silver roof. It does. Nah, it's just hard though, isn't it? Being chasing, you're defending it. You're going to try everything you can do, but if he's going to sit on the brakes, there's that's not yeah, much yeah, you can do. I, that feeling, I, yeah. I can't, I can't argue with that because I <laughs> would do whatever I, I need. You do whatever to you needed to do to do just it, like you done really. last year. Yeah, that's but, what that's what I said to my dad. I said, to be fair, I said it's probably like a bit of pillow. Bit At least of, you're having this conversation. I can't have that conversation. Because <laughs> it's, it's huh? it'll come. I was going to say it because he don't work in his car, but you don't yeah. either. Don't either. <laughs> <laughs> you need, I was, you I need to stand like Ricky did. Make yeah. sure the straps all done. I'm sorry, up. Jeff, mate. I'm sorry. That's it, you're sacked. <laughs> yeah, I'm sacked. You ain't coming in Monday. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but yeah, but yeah, no. Anyway, good luck on your... Um, Thank you. Your... Conquest. Conquest. <laughs> I think it's like 300. Mission. Isn't it? The, good um, luck on your mission. The film 300, I reckon. Yeah, 303. Yeah, sure. <laughs> 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 Anyway, good luck, mate. Cheers for chatting to yeah, us. No, I appreciate Thanks it. For coming. And uh, hopefully you have a, a good year next year as yeah, well. Hopefully. And hopefully we can batter each other out on track. Yep. And then so, uh, we'll come and do another podcast next year and see how you get on. We'll yeah, take perfect. that gold off of you. Yeah, we'll try to. Yeah, wait for it's still on there next year. <laughs> well, we've got Scotland. Scotland, yeah. That'd be Depends another good one. I think that'd be the best weekend. What, what sort of pressure will be on you, do you think, defending it? Do you think, I always think defending it is going to be more pressure than actually winning it the first time because there's no pressure. Yeah, yeah. I think there will be a lot of pressure. I, I think oh, it's hard to say. No. All, obviously, we've got a long a long time till then, but just quickly. You don't qualify on the front row again. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking just have a first year of the uh, season Just out. have four, four meetings off again. Yeah, and then just go just back all the daylight it. meetings. But <laughs> no, to be fair, you can... Um, don't matter where you start. No, it yeah. especially Stop. especially up there. Exactly. Any of the f- it's always crazy up there. Yeah. Right? Spectators corner. The tight one. The real tight one. Yes. Yeah, think, yeah. How many cars do you follow in that that race? Four or five, I think. All in the train, <laughs> wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it does it doesn't matter. No. It doesn't matter where you start too much. I think I feel I feel as long as you're in the top eight rows, yeah. I think you you're in with a you're good in chance. You're in with a chance, hundred yeah. percent. Definitely. Easy. All the shot I started within the top eight rows, and you you, you got a good chance. Every yeah. other time I've started, I've been miles back, and you, you haven't really. Trouble is with people at the front that know that want to get to the front. If they know they start mm. like fucking about, it's like you were saying that that old shot meeting with Clark Fraser yeah. Clark and that, and when we was all just battering each other coming yeah. into the bend, and then sort of just when you actually work together, you but sort it, of it's, gain, but it's it's hard as such when you're so far away. You, you want to be head of the pack, don't you? you yeah. Want to be... Yeah, definitely. You want to be the one that they're chasing. Yeah. But it's hard to judge. Are they going to let me do that for yeah. us to catch? No, yes. that's it. So it's, it's hard. But yeah. Good. Anyway, thank you very much, Jacob. No, thank you. Appreciate it. I think so. <laughs> Is that it? What else you got to say? Huh? You give yeah, me a list of Now tell us some tyre pressures, will you? Yeah. For sure. <laughs> <laughs>